Hello, it's Carl Brower, Executive Analyst at iccars.com, your one-stop automotive information source for car market analysis, car buying advice, and car listings. Today, we're gonna to look at used EV pricing relative to gasoline cars. There's been a dramatic shift in the pricing of used EVs, and well, it's not a pretty picture, but it's an important picture if you're in the market for a newer used car, especially if you're looking at EVs. Now, maybe you've noticed in recent months that electric vehicles are stacking up at your local dealership and don't seem to be selling as well. If you think you are noticing that, it's not just you, it is happening. The demand for EVs relative to production capacity has fallen off, and that means that manufacturers and dealers are having to work harder to sell new EVs. And what they're doing is they're adding incentives and they're trying to get them out the door with lease packages and special deals to get you to buy. And whenever there's a drop in new vehicle pricing, which is what these incentives are doing, you see a similar drop in used pricing because new and used prices are always closely intertwined. And that means that used EV values have dropped dramatically over the past year. So dramatically that they are now below the equivalent gasoline car for the same vehicle. We did a study and it's right here looking at what's happened to used EV pricing over the last year. And we're gonna get into the specifics right now. But as our study says, prices of used EVs fall below gasoline prices for the first time ever. That happened back in February when used EV prices fell for the first time below used gasoline car prices. Now, when we talk about used cars, we wanna be specific. This is one to five year old used vehicles. Whether we're talking electric vehicles or gasoline vehicles, these are one to five year old used models. And it's these models we looked at and we saw this dramatic divergence between value on the used market. You can see from looking at this table that gasoline cars have held relatively stable while electric cars have dropped dramatically over the past year. And now their prices are below that of gasoline cars. What this basically means is that if you're a used car shopper and you're thinking of buying an EV, you have to see a good deal. You have to see an incentive in price that makes them worth buying. And that incentive has to be a substantially lower price for an electric vehicle versus an equivalent gasoline model. And that's the first time we've seen this. That was never true until this past, say, six or seven months. And if you look at this table here, you're gonna see this big drop off between say 29 and 39% every month going back a year for electric vehicles. That's a dramatic drop and it's especially dramatic when you look at say gasoline vehicles in this list and the average gasoline car's price has only dropped between three, four, maybe 6% on a given year over year basis for any given month. Now you might be wondering, well, what does this mean on a model basis? Is there a specific model we can look at to see how this manifests? Yes, there is, that's what we looked at. We looked at the BMW 3 Series versus the Tesla Model 3. These are very comparable in price and size. And we looked at them over the past year to see the specific values for each model and what happened with them. And sure enough, looking down this list, you see the Tesla Model 3 started out at around $37,000 back in June of 23, and it fell to $28,439 in May of 24. This compares to the BMW 3 Series that started out at $34,000 a year ago and now is $33,000. You can see how the BMW only lost about $1,000 over the past year versus the Model 3, which lost about $9,000 in that same time frame. That's where you're seeing a specific example of what we're talking about here in the price drops between gasoline and electric vehicles. We also decided to look at which models have lost the most value over the past year, regardless of fuel type. And when we did that, looking at the top 10 list, eight of the top 10 models that lost the most value over the past year are electric vehicles. You've got three of the four Teslas on here. You've got the Hyundai Kona, the Kia Niro, the Jaguar I-Pace. In fact, the only models on here that are not electric vehicles are the Jaguar E-Pace and the Maserati Levante. At the opposite end of the spectrum are the vehicles that have gone up in value, and that is still happening with some used cars. We saw a lot of that at the height of COVID, where people could buy a used car and sell it a year later for more than they paid. That's pretty rare now, but there are cars still going up in value on the used market. And if you look at the list here, what you see are a lot of premium vehicles and kind of rare or sporty performance oriented vehicles. The top one, of course, being the Porsche 718 Cayman, followed by the Genesis G90, the Porsche 718 Boxster, and things like premium SUVs, such as the Land Rover Range Rover. Again, not a common thing like it was during COVID, but you still have these top 10 models going up in value. And of course, they're all premium models and not a single one of them is an electric vehicle. 
Finally, we looked at the top 50 cities across the US to see which model for each city had lost the most value. And once again, when we looked through these 50 cities, what did we see in most cities losing the most value? Some form of an electric car. You look at the list here and what do you see? You see Tesla Model 3s, you see Chevy Bolts, you see Kia Niro's, Nissan Leafs, Hyundai Kona Electrics. So it doesn't even really matter what geography you're in. If you're in one of the largest cities, it's probably an electric vehicle that lost the most value within that city and within that market if you're shopping. So what does all this mean for electric vehicle buyers, especially used electric vehicle buyers? Well, clearly it suggests that there might be a opportunity now to buy one of these vehicles because they've come down in price so much. The only caveat I would say is hopefully this is stabilized and we're not gonna keep seeing this drop. We don't wanna see another 30% drop in the next year or if you buy now you're going to take a big hit especially on the used market where you're supposed to be able to avoid that by buying a used car but it's probably pretty stable now it's hard to believe these electric vehicles on the used market are going to drop another 30 plus percent over the next year and we do have that incentive now on used electric vehicles if you qualify where you actually can get a four thousand dollar federal tax break that hopefully uh, the dealership applies to your payment they're supposed to if you're buying a car from them so that should also help stabilize it because the electric vehicles that are available for that are $25,000 and below electric vehicles. And obviously if the average price of a used electric vehicle that's one to five years old is $28,000, we're getting pretty close to that $25,000 point where the federal incentive kicks in on used electric vehicles. Keep this all in mind. We're seeing a lot of shift in the market. Uh, it seems like the electric vehicle thing is still quite unstable in terms of how many they're going to sell, how many they're going to build, and how many people want to buy. That's what's leading to these big price shifts we've seen, and we're not sure exactly when it's going to finally settle down. But as, as buyers, we're always trying to help you out, give you advice, and hopefully this helps you in your shopping for new and used cars, particularly if you're looking at a used EV.